Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to A Foreigner's Life in New Mexico, USA. It's a beautiful Sunday morning today and I am going to make a breakfast burrito. And so these are my ingredients. I have onion and then a tomato, sweet pepper, I have garlic, four pieces of eggs, and then half a pound of ground beef okay my pieces of tortilla and then to taste I will be using kikuman and uh, pepper a uh, ground pepper and then salt now this is just my own style I modified this from the original and um, let's just see what will happen okay well, I will find out how this would taste because I'm adding here tomatoes and uh, other ingredients that are not found in the original recipe of uh, burrito so to start with I am going to cut my ingredients here Start from the onion. Oops. If you notice, I did not cut the onions finely uh, it's just fine with me because I would like to uh, you know what taste the crunch of the onions in the burrito and then the next one would be garlic There are a lot of uh, burritos in New Mexico that are really, really uh, good. But then I have not uh, tasted one with uh, tomatoes in it. And uh, what I love with the New Mexico burrito is the green chili. And also the red pepper. Oh no, the red chili. They are good. This pepper is so beautiful. It really looks beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to slice this lengthwise. Then cut them into smaller pieces. Then just put it together with the rest of the ingredients okay so my ingredients are now ready so I am going to get my pan okay what I will do first is uh, cook the eggs and this time I am going to make this into torta um, so that I can just slice it and then add it to my burrito so the eggs 
the eggs will be cooked separately from the meats. All right. So I'm going to have my pan ready. Make it warm. So while it is warming, I am going to scrum. Oh, I'm going to. What is this? Get my eggs. I am not going to add any salt or pepper in these eggs right now. Add about two tablespoons of uh, oil. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit. Okay, that's it. Okay, the oil is already hot, so I'm going to add the oil. I lowered the heat a little bit. Just call you if it's ready. I'd like to know like how much longer. Probably about fifteen. Okay, I'll just hold it. So while it is in the pan, I am going to slice it this way. Okay, I am only going to make four burritos though. Okay. okay, so I'm going to use, so these are now my um, eggs. Okay, what I'm going to do is cook the meat, the ground beef.
Okay, I have to saute the gar uh, the onion first. Or onion. Together with the garlic. It's really smelling good right now. I love the smell of onions and garlic. It's very refreshing. This is just for me. <laughs> Others don't like the smell of garlic and onions. Okay, let it go for about okay the onions are now shiny so I am going to add next the, uh, the tomatoes I'm going to add the meat. The meat is kind of hard still. I just placed this in the fridge last night, took it out from the freezer. So, with the heat, I'm sure it will be um, ready for me to mix it. Okay, I am going to add soy sauce to taste just a little bit and then salt ay 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 okay okay salt and pepper I am not using any chili. Um, I've got red chili and green uh, green chili, but uh, today I'm not gonna use any of those at this time. It will just be plain beef and egg burrito, no chili. Then let it cook. And now I am going to add the sweet pepper. This 
really looks good. It looks so pretty too. And it smells so good. Leave it there for about two minutes. And it will be done and ready. Okay, I believe this is already done. The sauce has been absorbed into the ingredients already, so and I don't want to make it so dry. So Now I'm going to warm the tortilla. So I'm putting my skillet there and let it warm first. Or not really warm, make it really very, very hot. And then I'm going to put the tortilla there. Okay, so the skillet is already hot. Throw the tortilla there. I like my tortilla a little bit burnt, but this time I'm not gonna burn it. <laughs> I don't want it to break when I am going to uh, put the meat here and the eggs. So I'll just warm it. Okay, so this is the last of the tortillas, so it's already warm. Okay, ready for my burrito. So this time I gonna make my burrito. So gonna put some eggs right here. Okay, that is one. That is two. I'm gonna divide it evenly. <laughs> I believe my tortilla is smaller than the filling. Then just roll it. I have to fold the end. Normally, those who are um, making commercial burritos, their tortillas are really big, kind of. Yeah, it's big. Mine is, I just bought this at the store. The tortilla, I just put it at the store. So to hold it, I'm just going to use this. Okay, so I am just um, holding it with or securing it with a toothpick so that it will not open. So this is one burrito. Okay, the other one. <clears throat> Making tortilla is the one that I really like to learn to make right. 
so do the same okay roll it and secure it with a toothpick okay right there I'm going to add more here That's my second burrito. Okay, roll it and then secure the bottom, the other side, and or fold rather, and then secure it with a toothpick. Okay, so this is my third burrito. Okay, my burritos are now ready to eat. All right. So I made four burritos, so with coffee for this morning, and uh, it would really be good. I also have ketchup. It would be good if you are going to use ketchup, and then my husband loved this uh, sauce, tapatio. It's a hot sauce, actually. All right. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. If you like my channel, uh, if you like my video, please click. Uh, like and then subscribe and also click notification so that I can or you can be notified of my next video okay hope you were enjoying it thank you very much for watching have a wonderful day bye bye see ya